I'm gonna check out Sabret Hot Dogs. What's up YouTube? Sweatpants Joe here. And uh, we're doing another hot dog video. Can't get enough hot dogs. Today I've got Sabret. So funny story, when I was in Buffalo a few weeks ago, I think a month ago now, when I bought the hot dogs to bring back to review and I brought the Hoffmans, the Zweigels, and the Wardinskys back, I had Sabrets in my hand. And I didn't think I'd have enough room to bring them all back, so I didn't grab the Sabrets. And I was kicking myself for it the last few weeks. I was like, oh, I should have got the Sabrets. I went on Sabrets' website and I looked around to see if they sold them out here in California. and they. And they mentioned that they sold them at a store called Sprouts. So after work today, I went over to Sprouts. And sure enough, this was the only one left. The only one left. They had a whole bunch of other hot dogs. This was the only pack of Sabrettes left. Now, they are the skinless ones, which is kind of a bummer. But beggars can't be choosers out here on the West Coast. We want our East Coast hot dogs. We want our Sabrettes. We got some Sabrettes. Now I'm not gonna make these on the grill. I am gonna try to replicate hot dog street vendor, New York City. That's the kind of, this is the kind of hot dogs they used back in the day. A lot of them still do. I shouldn't say back in the day. A lot of them still do. A lot of them don't. Um, but they will probably display the Sabret. They'll have the Sabret logo. A lot of them will have the umbrella. Um, I remember when I was a kid for a very brief moment in time, very brief, very brief moment in time, the Sabres, the Buffalo Sabres actually had Sabret hot dogs. This was at the old Odd, the auditorium. It was like for like one season maybe. It wasn't very long, but I remember seeing the Sabret logo at the Odd. And then I had a hot dog that day. And you know, when you're at an arena, at a sporting event, all hot dogs kind of, you know, they all kind of taste the same. They're always on those rollers. They're never fresh, but they're still delicious. We still eat them, right? So I don't think I had a Sabret until the year 2000, my first trip to New York City as a young man. They were selling the Sabret hot dogs, uh, the street guys, I bought a Sabret hot dog then. And then I used to see once in a while, you'd see people on the streets selling Sabret hot dogs here in Los Angeles. Very few and far between. I'd always get excited when I'd see one and I would go and I'd get one. More downtown than in Hollywood. Like when, if I was like downtown or in Koreatown and I saw somebody selling hot dogs and it would, it would have to be like a lunch crowd hot dog, not like a late at night hot dog. Sometimes you'd see Sabret, sometimes you'd luck out. But I found some, I'm gonna boil them. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm not gonna steam them. I'm gonna steam the bun, but I'm gonna make these dirty water hot dogs. Okay, so this is how you make a dirty water. Now, first of all, when you're going to New York City and you're getting a street cart dirty water dog, it's not really dirty water. Okay, so I got the water on medium. It's gonna start boiling pretty soon. What we're gonna add to the water, I chopped up, I chopped up a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna throw that in there. The hot dogs have garlic in them already in the ingredients. This should enhance your garlic flavor. And of course, what goes with garlic but its cousin, the onion. I chopped, that's about a third of an onion I chopped up. I don't need more than that. I'm only gonna boil a couple of hot dogs. Then we're gonna shake a little bit of salt in the water. Not a lot, just a little. Uh, some vinegar, just a dash of vinegar, not a lot. That's enough. And some olive oil. I have uh, more expensive olive oil in the uh, in my pantry, but for this purposes, I'm gonna go with the cheaper bottle, just because, well, just because. Okay, so now that the water is boiling, I'm gonna put the hot dogs in. These hot dogs are eight for a pound. 
rather than seven for a pound, which is what I was eating before. So they're a little smaller, so they should boil faster. There we go, they're in. Probably should have used a bigger pot, but it's okay, they'll get in there. Now, these hot dogs will be ready in like seven to eight minutes. They'll be cooked all the way through. However, in order to get that good New York flavor, I'm gonna put this thing on low, and I'm gonna let them sit in there for as long as I can stand it. And uh, these should be really, really good. So the hot dogs have been simmering in there for a little over a half hour now, and so I'm going to steam some buns and we're going to try it. When you're going to steam buns, you're going to want to get a brand bun. You're not going to want to use the cheapy, cheap, generic ones, because they're going to break apart if you do. So I got the Nature's Own brioche style buns. Those should stand up to the steaming. And how you steam the buns is you just put them right on top of the lid and uh, just leave them up there for a few minutes. Okay, I let the buns steam for about seven minutes, and uh, we should be good to go here. There we go. The hot dogs are all boiled up in the dirty water. Okay, one of them I'm just going to eat plain. The other one I dressed up with some mustard and relish. And we're going to start with the plain one first. The hot dog water should have seasoned it all up. Now, it's not going to have that snap that I like because it's no skin but the dog itself still split down the middle. Oh yeah. The onion flavor, I put it, is very strong now because of that, but I love them dirty water hot dogs. Here's another bite. Now I'll try it with the mustard and relish. So it doesn't have that true New York City street dog snap because it's not in the casing. But these still turned out really well. I'm gonna rate them on a scale of P you it stinks the sunshine lollipops and rainbows. I'll give the skinless sabrettes a solid, I like it. They're very good. A little on the smaller side, like I said, these are an eight for a pound count, whereas the other hot dogs I like to review were seven for a pound. So those are a little bigger. These are a little skinnier, but they're very good. Thank you guys for watching. I'm enjoying eating hot dogs. This channel's turning into a hot dog channel. I guess I had to get the chicken sandwiches out of my system, and now I'm gonna get all the hot dogs out of my system. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.